All right. Well, um, surprise, surprise. Actually, not really. It is getting pretty close to Invictus, and um, I was honestly getting nervous. They may just do a last minute Invictus like drop, and I have no way to plan for it. But I'm glad that the um, the trailer finally dropped and they gave us the date. Now, this is this does seem like a teaser, like save a date sort of thing. So we may even get a more extended trailer later down the road. Let's go ahead and watch this trailer together, and then we're going to do a quick breakdown of it. All right? Um, so buckle up, cool your jets, and let's get started. Ooh. May 17th. <laughs> Medrunner. And then there's Polaris. Be a part. More Polaris, more Polaris, more Polaris of something bigger. Arco. More Polaris. <laughs> United in purpose. All right, so. Um, so that, that's quite a bit of little tidbits in here. So let's go ahead and slow this down and break them in. Okay. Uh, let's turn off that. All right. So I also just noticed that they also put in, um, the, uh, copyright and stuff here and trademarks for star engine, the squadron 42 and all that. So it looks like it really is going to be a thing. And I'm gonna guess they file for all that. So let's go ahead and do a let's do a quick breakdown. Let's go ahead and slow this guy down. Let's go down to 25%. Let's go. Oh, we're gonna shut that browser audio off. Thank you. All right, whatever. So here. All right, so we have the main event of the UAE Navy. We have the F-7A in the center, looks like. Um, hmm. So, so it's three F-7As and one F-7C. So I guess it's like a civilian. Uh, mixed up with the mixed in with the navy. All right. There's a hammerhead. So my question is this: is that um, is the field recon helmet the pilot's wearing? Is that going to be one of the flight helmets, like one of the helmets designated as a flight helmet and not an FPS helmet? Because that's going to be an interesting um, decision. Okay, keep going. So not much to not much to gain from here. Um, looks like they're fighting on an outpost. We have a med runner esque uh, character there. All right, we're gonna stop right here. So this Ursa right here. Yeah, this is definitely a medical Ursa. Um. You can definitely see here that it looks like uh, the white and gray here, and you can see there's like a the the UV light clean room disinfector disinfector there. So, um, so yeah, this is definitely the medical Ursa. So, pretty much almost confirmed for that one. Polaris, obviously. Now, just to uh, let everyone know, like the Polaris is not going to be ready for fly it is not ready for fly this is just a flyby by an npc yeah mm -hmm. okay let's pause here oh wait let's go back a little bit so we have the MPUV back there with a tractor beam. Uh, we got some supplies. 
more Polaris. The field recon stuff is really like um, featured here. That's interesting. The the armor. I wonder if that's uh, something um, sp significant. The one thing I do not like about the hammerheads is that the um, the turrets are just out there hanging. And then one last look at the Polaris's back. Something bigger. All right, we have uh, we have this. I guess you can say maybe veteran or maybe a uh, civvy, but his um, mug is the Benny is the big Benny mug. Yeah, he's smiling. All right. Okay, so he's a civilian. It looks like he's a civilian. More flybys. So arc core. All right, let's see. Just I think it's just arc core. And then there's the money shot children. Polaris up close. Every Polaris owner is cheering, but, but again, guys, it is definitely not ready. Yeah. All right, there's a Scorpius. I don't think there's anything else, really. So we're back in our core now. All right. Cool. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. So we have the countdown, the trailer, and here's the schedule. All right. All right, so let's see. May 17th to 18th. So May 17th to 29th is our big thing. So 17th to 18th is rsi origin outlander and argo so basically i don't want to predict it but we might see a price increase for the polaris now that we're getting closer so um i don't know if this will be our last chance to grab it at a lower price or um they're just going to raise the price outright so we'll see Let's see. Now, and just to let everyone know, Invictus is mainly just for their military vehicles um, variants. So you're not going to see things like the 400i. You're not going to see things like the um, the 300i or anything. Now, for Origin, you're probably going to see the 325a, though, which is their interceptor slash combat variant. Um, RSI, we're probably going to see their big ships. Um, probably not going to see the Arastra. Even though it does have a lot of military like um, hardware on it, uh, we'll see. In terms of for sale, so Kasali Outlanders were, I believe, last year they had the Mustang Delta. Um, Argo, I guess the MPUV, maybe. Yeah, for RSI, we're definitely going to see the Scorpius, Scorpius Antares, the Mantis. There might be others I may be missing. May 19th to May 20th, uh, Miss Crusader Tumbrel in Mirai. Uh, so plenty of plenty of uh, vehicles to go around there. For Miss, we're probably going to see uh, the Freelancer Miss, the missile variant. We are probably going to be seeing, um, I feel like I'm missing something, maybe, uh, but we'll continue. Mirai, yeah, we're going to be seeing the, um, the new snubs, the, the little furies. We're also going to be seeing the, um, um, we might see a few, uh, we might see that stealth ver variant of the razor. Tumbrel, all those ground vehicles, Tumbrel Storms, Tumbrel Storm AA, um, Cyclones, and um, the tanks. So 
sorry, not tanks. Uh, yeah, the tank. Um, I don't remember the tank. What is the tank called? Whatever. <laughs> we know it's the freaking main battle tank. Um, Crusader. Uh, we're probably we're definitely gonna see the A1 make a return. We're gonna be seeing the A2. We're gonna see the M2. Uh, we'll probably also see the Ares, which rest in peace, guys. Uh, if it with master modes and the new weapon balancing, it's a little bit eh. Um, all right, moving on. Aegis Dynamics. Uh, yeah, that pretty much majority of that is all military hardware. Um, just a quick note, guys. This may be our last or second to last if they decide to. This may be our last or second to last um, chance to get the Idris at its current price. So if anyone has a thousand three hundred plus dollars to spare, go for it. Otherwise, don't worry about it. But yeah, that's so Aegis is pretty much majority. Of all of it is military. I don't know any non Aegis military ships, possibly like the Avenger Titan. No, 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 Avenger Titan was part of it. Yeah. So, yeah, all of it is combat. Anvil Aerospace. Again, majority of that is combat. Um, there will be a couple that are not, but yeah. And then we have Dispense Con, which is Drake's independent thing that's supposed to be, you know, on a separate on the separate site of Invictus. More than likely, it's probably going to be... Um, when you enter into Arcor's uh, Rikers uh, Memorial uh, Spaceport, it's probably going to be in that showroom area when you um, get out of the tram, not tram, get out of the um, elevators um, from the hangars and you go right, there is an area that you might be able to go in. Now, the, for the finale is usually when all the ships go on sale. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then they'll probably have like rotating they're probably gonna do the rotating like um uh war bond sales again just like last iae so be prepared um you know if you anyone's doing ccu chains um just get an get an idea what you need and keep an eye for them all right cool all right well that's all it is for this Invictus launch. I am pretty excited. I will be trying to get a few friends and we can definitely go over some of this stuff just like last year and see how we feel after a year of playing this game. Like that is something that I do want to discuss. Like it is a year uh, after I came back to this game. So I am very interested um, to hear from my friends as well as I want to give feedback of my experience since I came back at the end of 317 and onward. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Fine soldiers of the Leviathan. I address you on this day not as a captain of this ship, but as a proud father and a resident of the only place we call home. There is war. There are no negotiations. No ceasefires with this enemy. You will go in. All guns blazing.